The Washington Post looks at the wild media environment around Donald Trump's campaign. The Post says Trump's campaign manager grabbed a reporter's arm Tuesday night when she tried to ask the candidate a question after a press conference. The reporter for Breitbart.com says she was nearly pulled to the ground. Last night, several demonstrators were removed from a Trump rally. Juliana Goldman in Washington shows us why Trump events are like no one else's. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, protests at Trump rallies have become so commonplace that the campaign now has plain clothes security guards in the crowds scouting out potential demonstrators. But it hasn't stopped the interruptions, and that's led to some tense confrontations with Trump and his supporters. Uh oh, so early. At a packed rally in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Wednesday night. And the people said they're fed up. Donald Trump had trouble staying on message. Protesters interrupted him 17 times before being escorted out to the cheers of Trump supporters. Oh, no. Isn't this exciting? I love it. Look at those cameras turn. Where do these people come from? The scenes have become regular spectacles at the GOP frontrunners' rallies. Are you ready? Get them out of here. Get them out. Get them out of here. Am I allowed to rip that whistle out of the mouth? I'd rip that. Just... Get them out. Out, out, out. Bye. Go home to mommy. The exchanges are often peaceful, but sometimes they turn nasty. Last week in Kentucky, cameras captured Trump supporters shoving and yelling at this demonstrator. Other videos have showed rally goers appearing to spit, wrestle, and kick others. There's almost this anticipation that when you go to a Trump rally, there's going to be some kind of pushback. They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. This is someone who said a lot of controversial things. He's outraged a lot of people. Ahead of the events, thousands routinely line up for hours, hoping to catch a glimpse of the billionaire. Who's going to pay for the wall? Who they say is speaking Ooh. truth to their frustrations. This is Jim Cooley's 14th Trump rally. He's speaking everything that I'm thinking. He energizes the crowd when he's talking. That's what we need. We need energy in this country. Just before Trump takes the stage, a recorded announcement urges the audience not to harm protesters. This is a peaceful rally. In order to notify the law enforcement officers of the location of the protester, please hold a rally sign over your head and start chanting, Trump. When protesters do surface, Get the protester out. Trump doesn't hold back. He's walking out like big high fives, smiling, laughing, like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. He relishes insults and fighting and, and any kind of engagement on this level, and it adds a measure of excitement and passion to what's become a very, very exhilarating show for a lot of his supporters and, frankly, for a lot of other people, quite scary. Now, as you mentioned, the media has also had run-ins with Trump supporters and his security detail. When a Time magazine photographer says he tried to step outside a media pen during a Trump rally last month, a Secret Service agent apparently tried to choke him. Gail, according to Time, the Inspector General for Homeland Security is now investigating the incident. Juliana, this is very upsetting video. There has to be a way to get energy without the violence. Thank you very, very much.